Okay, welcome. Um, what I plan to do now is uh, I want to start off a new series of screencasts on uh, my Coding Freaks channel on YouTube. Um, this is kind of a premiere for me because um, this is the first time I will make just screencasts and no blog articles um, covering them. So um, I just wanted to uh, make a prelude um, for this series to explain what I'm going to do. Okay, where do I come from? I did two screencasts on ASP.NET Identity with um, custom data models. Uh, so they were pretty successful in terms of hit rates, but I recognize that a lot of you guys had questions and um, I think this came out of the fact that I just uh, they, they were not uh, pretty short um, to say that, but um, a lot of stuff behind the technique I used there was unclear to a lot of people. And so I decided to make um, a screencast series in which I will go from zero to 100% in terms of generating a complete MVC application with ASP.NET Identity using custom data models and uh, using all the stuff uh, throughout uh, REST API, which is a modern concept. And this is why uh, there is a SOA in the title of the series. So I prepared, just a second, I prepared kind of agenda for the series. And um, I will start off with part one, preparation, where I will build up uh, the solution in Visual Studio using a database with SQL Azure, using a database project with which is a technique um, which I use very successfully in my projects. I will explain this stuff and I will create the data access layer in this first part. The second part is all about the creation of the REST facade, which um, includes the core logic um, the sh uh, a shared logic for generating transport models and showing stuff like auto mapper, auto mapper there and stuff like that. I will then create the rest facade itself using uh, controllers for user authentication. And in the last part of the series, I will generate an MVC frontend, ASP.NET MVC frontend with an UI logic layer, which I um, will um, take out of the uh, UI project itself. I will create a resource layer for uh, showing you how to uh, internationalize your messages and your models and stuff like that and then wiring it up all up together using ASP.NET identity throughout. The main target of this is um, to achieve an architecture like this. So all this stuff will run in Azure um, and we will utilize SQL Azure uh, database. We will use an API app for the REST facade and we use a web app um, for the MVC layer. So what we want to achieve that this MVC app has, hasn't got any connection to the SQL database, which means there is no connection string or entity framework stuff inside of the MVC application. All this stuff is uh, unique to this layer, which means we are communicating uh, using REST between these two layers and all the other stuff is happening here. But what we want to achieve too is that we just seamlessly use ASP.NET Identity on this side, which means uh, if you know ASP.NET Identity uh, relies heavily on Entity Framework normally in the default configuration, which isn't an option here because we don't want entity framework be referenced in this project. Um, so how do we do this? And this is the part um, or the thing I want to show in this series. Just a few words. The series will, um, you know, be a lot. Th there will be a lot of stuff in the series because I want to build up the complete solution from zero to 100%, which means I will cover uh, not only ASP.NET Identity, <clears throat> but also solution design for uh, REST uh, full applications, for service-oriented applications using REST, which means there is a lot of stuff which 
um, has nothing to do with ASP.NET identity. It leads to ASP.NET identity, but um, I thought about it. And um, so in the last, uh, this is my, <laughs> my screencast uh, channel. And uh, I decided to make it this way, even though uh, some people might be bored or saying, hey, that's not, um, that's not comfortable because you're talking so much stuff. So this is not for you guys. This is for those guys who had questions on ASP.NET identity before. Okay, um, that's it for the prelude um, and see you on the first part. Thanks.